Welcome to the episode today uh, here in New York City. I'm gonna grab the small camera. We're gonna go to the new museum, so it's easy to bring. I'm gonna. The, it's gonna start with the small camera. Okay. I know this is great. Most important thing before all the day begins is breakfast. Thank you. We're going to breakfast. Look at the restaurant here. Breakfast is done. We're out in the lively streets in New York. We're gonna go to the MoMA. That's MoMA. All right. Photos and videos are allowed apparently. I'm pretty sure. I mean, a lot of people have their phones out and taking photos and video anyways. So I'm assuming I'm in the right. So when this goes out online, don't yell at me for being in an art museum. Doing that with art, it should be okay. This is supposed to be information overload. If you want to know what my brain feels like, just come to the MoMA, to that exhibit, and sit in there for like two hours. That's what my brain feels like. Well, back in the Lola. All right, back at the hotel, and uh... I'm back to the big camera. All right, I gotta pack up and get out of here. I'm gonna switch to my other sweatshirt. It's just lighter and easier, and uh, well, you actually, uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this yet. So uh, we're just about done packing up and I don't want to leave this place. It's so nice. It's like, why, why leave? Right, Mom? Well, that was fun. That was a fun weekend, or beginning of the weekend. <clears throat> it was amazing. I mean, I just loved it. I absolutely loved it. It was great. <sighs> I'd like to come back. I'd like to make a plan to come back. Oh, definitely. I want to talk real quickly about the show I went to uh, last night um, called Secrets with Darren Brown. Um, I'm not going to talk about any specifics of the show. I'm going to talk about the overall theme of the show and how that ties into something that I didn't even notice it would tie into. Um, he was talking about how we tell ourselves stories. We tell ourselves stories about how maybe we have to be successful to be loved or something along those lines and I do you guys remember the episode where I just I had a lot going on personally and I just felt like I had a vent like a therapy session is one of those therapy session episodes 
I feel like in a few weeks, months, maybe even a few years or a year, this episode will make a lot of sense. I feel like after the show, it like that now makes sense. That like, I tell myself stories where I feel like I shouldn't be doing something that I should or sh should be doing something that I shouldn't and whatever. Like, and the show really opened up that for me and that now like when like one, one one other thing he was saying i'm trying to be really careful with my words so i don't give away a lot of the show so hopefully you go see it um one one thing he was saying is how like sometimes there's information um that you want to share with somebody that that can that's that seems heavy that seems like a lot um and then you tell them, and you then you quickly realize it's just an, another piece of information, and it's not a big deal. But it feels like a big deal because you're anticipating a big deal, and then once you say it, it, it's out, and it's just another piece of information. Um, and I feel like that's like very important for me personally. So I just feel like I have to say at the end of this episode that, guys, you have to go see that show. It is amazing. I'll link it again down below. But it gets you to think. It gets you to really, really think. So, anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow for another episode. Tomorrow, we're getting a Christmas tree.